assets, the tactical knowledge to back off and wait and save a little bit back there for the There's, sprint. And here comes Greggy. Greggy's attacking the Belgian rider that we've been talking about all day is attacking right at the bottom of the 23rd. Well, and it looked to me as if it was an Australian jersey as well coming up alongside him there. No, it's not. It's Peter Sagan. Ah, oh, Peter Sagan, we've not seen him all day, and he's made the move straight over the top there of Greg Van Avermaet. We haven't talked about Peter Sagan only in the anonymity, but here he is. He's made the move over the top of this club. Van Avermaet was digging deep there, rocking his shoulders, trying to get onto that wheel. All of a sudden, Peter Sagan, there he is around that corner. He's got the gap. Two and a half kilometers to go, one and a half miles of racing. This is the man who four times has won the world, the, the points championship, I have to say, at the Tour de France. He looks good here. He's getting into a low profile position, but he's got to be calm. He hasn't got to make two much of an effort you said to me before we came into the commentary position the only person who can beat peter sagan today is peter sagan it's so true he has so much at, oh he has so much in his arsenal i mean he's amazing he can do whatever he wants he can go from way out he can still win in the sprint oh. he has too many so many different things so he's Christian, obviously gone from way out at that gap the way he went around that corner this is a man who is an unbelievable bike and you want to see some of the things he can do on a bike this is a huge risk now at 1.7 kilometers to go to go this far out he knows what what's ahead of him with 700 meters to go he's going to hit uh, the climb of governor's hill the gps speed now on peter sagan is 41 and a half whoa 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 straight up to 31 miles an hour for peter sagan he's got one hand in the middle of the handlebars here it looks almost as if he's riding the world time trial championships he's going right now but he has a long way to the finish line it looks like Gregor and Abbott, and i'm gonna guess that it's boston hagen who is with them the norwegian rider but norwegian rider is not helping out greg at all Christian, can you make a move like this when you're Peter Sagan? He's the only one who knows how much power he's got left in those legs of here. But now all of a sudden, no, can. those two guys behind, they're starting to think, oh, bronze medal, silver medal, what am I going to do? I don't want to drag Edvard Bosenhagen to the finish line. This is such a risk for a man like Peter Sagan to do. The next thing he will see will be the Flamme Rouge, that sign in international cycling, the red kite over the line, indicating one kilometer left to go. There it is. Now, this is a very nasty little 300 meter ascent now. If he looks over his shoulder, he will see the shadow of the main field coming up. But I think he's opening up the gap right now. Now, Greg is all in right now. Greg Van Avermet, the Belgian rider, is all in. He can't wait any longer. It doesn't matter if Bolsonaro isn't going to help him. He has to go, but I think he's going to get swallowed up by the group. But it looks like Peter Sagan has a big gap, and I don't know if they're going to come back on him. Oh, the gear is hurting. He was just trying to find the right gear. Now he's inside of the last six or 700 meters. You can feel the pain coming out of those legs of Peter Sagan, the man who really has made an incredible name for himself here in the United States. The first time we ever saw this man dominate the Amgen Tour of California, he couldn't speak a word of English. Now he speaks English with an American accent. It's going to be so very close now. Sagan has made that massive risk of going out so far from the finish. And we've seen it turn around so many times. It always gets a little bit foreshortened here because of the camera lens. But Peter Sagan, he's time trialing to the finish. They're all over the road behind him. Can he hold on for this? This will be a magnificent victory. We've not seen him all day. He's waiting for that final moment to make the acceleration. Sagan looking for the last little bit of energy to come out of his body. The main field behind there zigzagging, trying to get themselves over that gap to Peter Sagan. But this is one of the most prolific winners on the international circuit here. He rides for the Slovakian team. He's the national champion in the time trial in the road race as Peter Sagan just waits for that line to come up. He's going to do it here this afternoon. Peter Sagan looks whack. One more time to confirm that yes, I am the champion of the world. We talk about Peter Sagan all the time because we know that he is probably one of the best riders that we've ever seen in this generation, at least. He is unbelievable. He can win in whatever he wants. He goes on the hills. He goes on the downhills. He could win in the sprints. He decided to go a couple kilometers away, absolutely tear up the descent, and hold on to win his first world championship title. Christian, we 
talked about the sport needing a personality. Well, you can't get a better personality <laughs> than that man right there. Tossing everything, helmet, sunglasses, giving high five. But the biggest thing you see is see all these champions giving him a high five going across the line. He has so much respect from all these all the riders in the peloton. So many different people going to give him hugs, high fives. That shows more than anything. His peers have some more respect for him. Well, this is where he made the move, and you can see everybody knew that he was going to make the move at that point, but could they do anything about it? No, they could not. Now, Christian, look at this. At this moment, this is the moment when he says, yep, gentlemen, I've got it. So many people were questioning him. He was always second place in the Tour de France. Had it, you know, won the green jersey, easily won it. But he was so many times second place. And I think this shows everyone who the real champ is. Peter Sagan, he's one of the most amazing bike riders you might ever see in your entire life. Christian, we talked about it before the start. You know, uh, when you ride for a team like Slovakia, there are three representatives of Slovakia here. He had to play a very, very careful political game. He had to make sure that he wasn't in the wrong position at the wrong time. He couldn't have any mechanical uh, incidents out on the course. But I think that will be a very, very popular victory. The people at Libby Hill have enjoyed seeing a man that they've really enjoyed here in the United States for many years. of the year he signed a huge contract uh, early uh, through the winter transfer because he is to me one of the most uh, charismatic professionals on the international circuit his uh, team owner Oleg Tinkov the uh, Russian oligarch of criticizing his performances but you know when you look at his performances at the start it might not have been winning but he was second third fourth fifth he is Mr. Consistent and there's his trademark wheelie well done but you can't say enough things about Peter Sagan. The things he does is, is unbelievable. Yeah, he, he had a lot of criticism from his team owner, Oleg Tinkov, for how much he paid him and the lack of results. Maybe not the results, but lack of wins. He didn't pay him this kind of money to come here and get second and third, fourth place. He get him to win the world championships like he did today. Well, there is confirmation of your result. Peter Sagan getting that victory three seconds ahead of the Australian Michael Matthews and uh, Ramonas Nevodowskis up there uh, for Lithuania in third place. Alexander Kristoff in fourth. And ever-present Alejandro Valverde in fifth. Uh, Simon Gerrans, uh, the veteran, in sixth. And looking a little bit further back, uh, Alex House. Good ride by Alex House in twelfth place. Nicky Terpstra was in uh, third and former world champions uh, Rui Costa and Philippe Gilbert in ninth and 10th. Well, Peter Sagan, you're world champion. This has to be the best day of your cycling career. Yeah, I think it's uh, the biggest victory and uh, I'm very happy because I did, uh, yeah, I did a lot of sacrifice this uh, last three weeks after, yeah, after Vuelta, and uh, it's unbelievable for me. But uh, I want also uh, to say because, okay, I am very happy for this. Uh, I was founding motivation in the world, and uh, it's, uh, yeah, I think it's a big problem also uh, with Europe and uh, all this stuff was happening, and uh, I want to just say because uh, this was very big motivation for me like I want to win today and uh, say this thing like uh, the population in the world we have to change because I think in, in uh, the next years can be all uh, different and, uh, and uh, also I think uh, this competition and uh, all the sport is very nice for the people and we are motivation for the people and uh, I am hoping we 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 can uh, do the sport also uh, next years and uh, in the future because uh, uh, the situation is very difficult and uh, then I want to say all the people like for change in this world in terms of uh, the race it was the perfect plan it went exactly as you had planned. Sorry. 
You took off exactly when you wanted, it was exactly what you had planned? Uh, in the race? Yeah, the race was very strange and uh, today I was just waiting, waiting and uh, yeah, I had my brother with me and uh, Uri and uh, my, uh, my friends Michael Collar, my teammates and uh, they was always with me and uh, if something happened uh, they, they was ready to change the bike or something but after the last two, two laps I was a little bit also in the crazy like uh, I said everybody have to be tired now after 240 kilometers and then I just did all the gels what I had and <laughs> yeah I was uh, hoping for a last uh, last uh, cobblestone uh, climb and uh, from there I I did yeah I was just full gas until the finish because also if uh, the group take me I, I was very tired for the sprint and then I did just one attack and uh, it was uh, I think the right attack can you believe that you're gonna wear the rainbow jersey for the whole season that must mean so much to you well I saw also a lot of uh, comments on uh, yeah like the people I'm not uh, uh, good for the long race and uh, this but uh, yeah now I have uh, this jersey and I hold it for uh, all next year Congratulations, thanks a lot. How dare anyone say he's not good for the long rides? Dossie Bausch, Bob Roll, Todd Harris back with you here on Broad Street in Richmond, Bob. It was an amazing performance, and it looked like Peter was a little bit almost subdued, like, well, I was kind of expecting this. Why would you doubt me? Well, he's always like that. Win, lose, or draw.